example, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Easy Road 3D today. And this time, in our little basic introduction to it, I want to talk about different road types and how to connect them. So here we're in the demo scene for Easy Roads. And once again, make sure we connect, we select our road network, or we start with the road network, create a new road. And you see here that there's something called a road type. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a dirt track swamp. And remember, like from before, we need to shift left click. Oh, sorry, I need to create a component first, then shift left click, get our first dot, second dot, and then we get a bit of road. So if we look at that, what we have here is a sort of, let's just raise this up a little bit. Oh, let's come off the selector again, back to road network, click the selector, just move this up slightly, so it's off the ground. And we have this sort of muddy track, nice kind of little uh, texture here. You can see some features of it. It's got a nice kind of transparent edge, so it goes nicely with the grass. So that's great, and we can do all the things we normally can with one of these things. We can uh, click again to extend the road, and everything's great. So what other sort of types are there? Well, we can come here, go back to the road network again, add a new piece of road, and this time we're going to go and create a dirt track grass. So again, add a new object, a couple of clicks, and we've got this new texture here, or a road using a different kind of texture, and this one's a sort of more just some tracks over the grass as opposed to being very, very muddy. So as with all different types of roads, and again, don't come off that, always keep the road network on. We can drag this over and the little yellow thing goes on so we can connect it. And that's great, we've managed to connect two pieces of road. Let's just lift that up a bit, oops. Lift that up a bit. And whilst it connects kind of okay and the person that's done the work with the textures, they've done a reasonable job of matching, you can see it's sort of a bit odd. It's kind of a bit squared off. And maybe you'd hide that with some bushes or something like that, you could perhaps, but but actually there's a better way. Easy Roads has got a different system for this. So if we click the big yellow bit, which is the connector, and we come down here, what we can do with hits, I've got the connector on. Uh, road network, connector. We can set this transition type here to say a texture transition. And then it gives us another option here for another material. So we come down here, we can click on that. And I just happen to know it's called transition. So dirt swamp transition, so we click that. And set to road one, and then what we need to do is give it a bit of a distance on one of the roads. So let's say something like 4.5. And what we've done now is this area here is the transition. And the texture that's underlying this transition, this dirt swamp transition, is taking you a nice sort of tapered off from the mud into the grass. And there you can see we've got a nice kind of road system all joined up. If you want to have a quick look at what this looks like, we'll just double click on this one to wait for the launch. I'm sure we're going to see that on the screen. Uh, basically, we've got this dirt swamp transition, and in here, you can maybe just see a little bit here, we've got a little preview of what this looks like, and you can see this kind of area here is indeed what we've got out of this texture. So that's a very quick introduction into how to use different sorts of road materials or road types. The fact that the road type has a different material. And then when, if you want to try and join two road types, and what you can do is have this transition texture to have a nice blend between the two different types of road. Okay, thanks.